Hey friends, it is Monday, so it is spending recap day. I will go over my expenses for October week two, which was October 8th through the 14th. And I have a few happy mails. And finally, we're gonna close it out. So I did finish a savings challenge. So anytime I finish a savings challenge, it goes towards sinking funds. Normally I would wait till the end of the month, but I need money for Halloween candy. So <laughs> we're gonna stop that one a little bit no earlier than normal, but I'm okay with it because sometimes you need the money quicker and you gotta do it. So let's do happy meal first. <laughs> And I'll do my expenses and yes. All right, first one is from Lisa W. I don't know if she wants her last name out there, so you know who you are. <laughs> now watch it like says it in the card. I don't know. Best witches for happy Halloween. That is so cute. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Tracy, I hope your Halloween is full of tricks, but mostly treats. I love watching your videos. Your friend Lisa. Oh, thanks, Lisa. And she sent me a G-Buck. So this is going to go towards my puppies. We're going to set this aside because we'll stuff this today. <laughs> it's the only G-Buck I have, so I wasn't, like, prepared to stuff for it. But I will grab that um, G-Tracker any day. <laughs> Tracy, you can't talk today. I know. <laughs> All right, next one is Ren over at Mischief Manage Budgets. I believe this is for her membership. So I am part of her membership on YouTube and every month she sends out a savings challenge and it's bird themed. So she loves birds. And so every month you get a different bird. <laughs> I think this may be my new favorite bird ever. <laughs> a, it has blue feet and it's blue and blue is my favorite color. And I just think it's so cute. Uh, it's a blue footed, footed, blue footed booby. <laughs> Boobies. Sorry. <laughs> it reminds me of a Halloween joke that my husband always says. Males display their feet during mating displays. The males with the brighter blue feet get chosen first. Ooh. <laughs> so between these two, this one would be the prime winner because the feet are brighter than this one. Now I know, Ren. <laughs> Look for the brightest blue feet, and that's the the prime guy you want to go for. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh, I think I love this more than the Wren. Sorry, Wren. <laughs> it's just too cute. Okay, last one is from Girl Mama Budgets. This is Tiffany. She had a black one, so I couldn't really write on the package, so I put a little posty note on there. Doo doo. Ooh. Oh, there's like three mini packages in a package. Ooh, scratch-off cards. <laughs> Ooh, placeholders. And... <laughs> all right, I'm going to open all these, and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, that was like a treasure chest opening. <laughs> Tracy, I wanted to send you some goodies to thank you for being so nice and sending and resending my package. 101 hugs, or LOL, not 101. <laughs> I'm telling you, my brain is mush today. Um, hugs, Tiffany, this poor thing. She ordered from me a few orders in a row, and the post office would not deliver to her. And she went to the post office, and she's like, why are these packages being rejected? And they're like, we don't know. Like, There's no reason for them not to be coming to you, but every time they were sent back to me. So we had to like send them to her mom and then her boyfriend. It, yeah. <laughs> no worries, my friend. I just felt so bad. Um, a little kitty. Yes. Yes. I have another one of these. You guys think of me. <laughs> Don't warn it. Warn it. I'm, I can't even apologize for my speech today. Coffee, please. <laughs> Save $40. This is super cute. <laughs> snowball fun. So I'm guessing these are snowballs under there with numbers. $50. These are numbers I love. Wizard of Oz. Yes. Look at the little mini stickers. <laughs> These are like little half inch ones. They're the itty bitties. So cute. I've watched this movie so many times. I laugh because my husband has never watched it. But he's like, I have heard enough about it that like I understand the gist of it. But I, it's a shocker to me because growing up, we watched this so many times. 
Roll and save with the Mario Brothers. It's me, Mario. <laughs> oh, so funny. So I'd roll a dice and then I'd save the number and put it in there. Super cute, friend. Look at all these fun challenges. Since some are laminated, some are not laminated. Oh, look at these pretty placeholders. 100, 500, 1,000. Oh, yes. <laughs> Manifest 5,000 for me, please. <laughs> these are super cute. Oh, I love little watercolors. And then this one. Oh, it's like candy. Oh, it's Halloween-y. Okay. So these are little single scratch cards. Oh, so good. <laughs> candy corn i am i like candy corn but i know half the nation or world does not like candy corn but i do like it but in small doses like i can't eat a whole lot of it this one is cute how fun caramel apples yes or caramel apples depending on how you want to say it so cute all right i'm hoping these are low numbers tiffany let me know if these are low numbers or not <laughs> but i love them Oh, they're so fun. Okay, thank you. These are adorable. I will link all of their shops below. And so you guys can check them out if you are interested. I love everything. <laughs> so good. Time to tell you what our spending was for the week. Um, this is me using my budget by paycheck workbook from The Budget Mom. I started in October. So I switched over from my Happy Planner version where I used the calendar week across. Some people said that they missed the taco. So <laughs> Mr. Taco is still here. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> he can hang out. We still like him. It's still my favorite. <laughs> All right. So first up, we had auto insurance come out. That it was $150. It technically was a little bit lower but I just do a hunt even 150 every month. And then usually it's paid off a little bit early. Internet, $103. So insurance, utilities, these are my new categories because I'm tracking things better by categories now. Barnes and Noble, we bought some books. Uh, that was listed as fun. I think we bought four books. My husband and I went to the bookstore. He wanted to get the new book from David Mitchell, it's called Unruly, and he just he just loves David Mitchell. He's an English-British guy, and he wrote a funny kind of take, like, with his type of humor book on Kings and Queens, I believe. I don't know. He wanted that. Uh, we got tacos for $45.00. Yes, food Culver's. So this is the ninth. We did Barnes and Noble and tacos. On the tenth, we went to Culver's and that was twenty nine dollars. On the eleventh, went to High V and got food, so groceries, and that was one hundred and sixty six dollars. Um, and then we went to Cheers, and that was forty seven dollars. So Cheers, I'm labeling as fun. Just a reminder on how my categories are split out. So I have food is grocery restaurants. Fun money is bars, going out, movies, concerts, books, games, anything that is strictly fun. Um, I have bars as fun because it's not for food purpose. It really is for fun. <laughs> All right. So high views, grocery, cheers, fun, 47, liquor store. So on the 12th, we had a no spend, which was awesome. Um... On the 13th, went to the liquor store for, I put that as fun money as well. I debated with liquor store, but then I was like, well, if I'm doing bars and restaurants as fun, liquor store is fun too. Like you're not drinking alcohol for nutritional value. <laughs> it is not a food source. That was $81. So my husband went out of town this past weekend to go hang out with a friend and he wanted to bring a bottle of whiskey over to their house so he wanted to stop at the store and make sure he got a few things to drink whenever they come to our house they bring us a bottle of something and so it just goes back and forth all right so next was 10 13 for gas my husband had to fill up his truck um, to head out to his friends he lives a few hours away and was spending the weekend there so he needed gas um, it looks like on Saturday morning, he went to go get some coffee and that was $13. 
restaurant. So they went out to a place for brunch and that was $50. While he was gone, <laughs> I had the weekend all to myself. It was the most glorious thing ever. Um, I don't think I've had the weekend to myself for probably three years. And he was like, go book a massage. Like you have earned it. I want you to relax, enjoy the weekend. So I did book a massage. I had a $50 gift card, but the gift card was only redeemable at certain spas. And so the ones that were closest to me were not the cheapest. <laughs> and I like to do a 90 minute because I feel like you get more relaxation. Like it's just a better value than the 60 minute one. Um, so after the 90 minute massage, minus the $50 gift card, add on the tip, it was $175. I know. <laughs> oh, we also had a city bill come out for, so that would be utilities. City bill is like water. Um, our recycling is through the city and then whatever they need for roads and parks and the school budget and whatever. $223. Oh, that was an ouchy one. Um, and then after I had my massage, I went and got my favorite Chinese food. They do a, there's this one place that does awesome gluten-free Chinese food. And so I ordered ahead for pickup. They said it would be an hour and 20 minute wait. That's how good they are. Um, so I placed the order, went back home and like waited and then drove to go get it. <laughs> and I drove like 20 some minutes away to get it, but it's so good. And that was $20. So it doesn't look like too much spending, but we had some higher ticket things come through. I don't know. We'll see. So in total for food, we spent $323. So this would be groceries and restaurants. For fun, $219. And that was for Cheers, which you can see we didn't go to Cheers as much. Um, the liquor store and the books really added into this one. If I didn't do these new categories and I just looked at cheers, I would have been like, wow, that was a great week. But adding in the liquor store and the books, yes, a little bit higher. Personal care. So massage, I put under personal care because to me that was anything inside and outside of the body. And some people said when I showed my categories in another video, they said like massage and facials and like that kind of more splurgy stuff should be its own category. And I thought about it, but I don't want to have too many categories. The whole idea for me anyways, is to have more narrowed, broader categories than like a bunch of little mini ones. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind, but that's the road I'm going right now. Oh, utilities. <laughs> so previous to using this tracking method, I did not track utilities for you guys. Um, I know what we pay, but it does fluctuate month to month, quarter to quarter. Like our city bill is every couple months. Um, internet's always every month, but $326. Insurance, 150 bucks. That's car insurance. Transportation, that's at 63. So... <laughs> I think I went with what he thought it was and then forgot to fill up up there, but I filled it in. Uh, so grand total for the week was $1,256. <sighs> Although I will say before I wasn't sharing these extra stuff. So I wasn't sharing um, utilities in there, insurance in there, that sort of thing. So it is going to make these weeks look a little bit different week over week. But I truly want to see month over month what these categories spend. So I'm still super happy with it. I will start tracking again for next week. But that was my spending for October week two. So we got the one G buck, which was so sweet. <laughs> and we're going to fill out our little tracker here. We'll add in the one. So now we have $8 because each of these is 8 so eight times three is 24. And then you fill in that top one for the, the 25th G buck. And we are a third of the way towards another bundle. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last up is savings challenges that are completed that go into sinking funds. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 
I normally wait for all these till the end of the month, but sometimes you just need the money. So you finish a challenge and you need the money right away to stuff. So that's kind of what we're doing today. <laughs> Do you like my little stickers I added on? Aren't they cute? <laughs> So my main thing that I want to focus on is Halloween. We need to buy Halloween candy for trick-or-treaters. Um, yes, isn't that cute? <laughs> I did the popcorn theme because I feel like when I do the randomizer challenge, you're like sitting back watching a movie, like eating popcorn, wondering where it's going to go. And then I have new stickers on my tabs. These were made by Ren for me. And I think they just pop a lot easier for you guys to see. Ta-da! All right, so Halloween currently has $45 in it. I want to have $100. So I finished this savings challenge from Ren, which was $75. And I want to get in here to get to $100. So I need to put in $55, right? Yes. So 20, 40, 5, 55. That way I have a hundred dollars to spend on candy. Let's count and make sure. 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna update our tracker and do plus. This Sharpie is getting old. I need to buy a new one. So now we have $100 saved for Halloween candy, which makes me feel good because honestly, I need to go and buy it now. Do you guys see that article where it was like M&M was doing a, if you run out of candy, they'll bring you more M&Ms? I don't know. I, I, I'm picturing a huge disaster with the program. Like apparently you have to register after 3 p.m., I think on the 31st. And then if you run out, there's people that are going to bring you candy but I don't I don't know how I feel about that like <laughs> I feel like it's going to set them up for a disaster of some sort all right so I have 5 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 dollars left which is kind of cool so I figure we'll just do the randomizer for the rest of it then right <laughs> Here's our little dice rolling. Here is our categories. I have all these little cards that match the themes from Ren, and then I put them in this little box and the numbers are on it. So if I were to roll a four, that is going to be Mother's Day and it will match the birds. So I have the birds here for Mother's Day, the cards match, etc. So we're gonna roll the dice and I got an eight, which is close. <laughs> This thing seriously wants me to buy clothes so bad. All right, so we are going to scratch off Ariel and clothes are gonna get $8. This money's gonna go fast. <laughs> so $8 is going to close, five, six, seven, eight. And that is category eight. Ta-da! So we'll just put it like this for now because we could add more money to it. I just said it like that. Okay, back to our randomizer. Eight. <laughs> Come on. Fine. They seriously want me to have clothes saved. Nine. I think that's like pretty much all of our money. Oh, I have three dollars left after I take out a dollar. Okay. <laughs> so $17 is going to close because this thing truly, honestly wishes that I would buy some clothes. Okay. So I'm not going to put more money into clothes. So let's just add up this one for now. So I'm adding 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 dollars plus 17 and that gets me 20, 35, 45, 50, 1, 2, 52 dollars and I think that's the most I've ever saved for clothes because I don't like buying clothes. but. 
I, I, I still need them. <laughs> the category is needed. Okay, so I only have $3 left. If I were to scratch off one of these, I'm not going to have enough money. So we are not going to do that. We are just going to roll and see what categories each get a dollar. Or maybe to just whoever gets the last $3. I don't know. Number nine, State Fair. <laughs> All right, that's the one that doesn't need it. So we're going to do $1 to State Fair. <laughs> I'm changing my mind. Okay. One dollar went to State Fair. Five. That was Mother's Day. So you get a dollar. I know. These are high roller categories, aren't they? <laughs> Last one. Five. Okay, Mother's Day got two dollars. Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay, so that is the end of my randomizer. I know it wasn't a whole lot to play with, but we had priorities, and when you have priorities, that's what you got to do. So now I added $2 plus 2, so I have $7 total in Mother's Day. And State Fair got $1. So now it should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one and six. We're off to the State Fair. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. Okay, that is all done for today. I know it wasn't a huge one, but I needed that Halloween money, and so we took the rest of it and just stuffed it for fun. Hopefully by the end of the month, I should have a few more savings challenges, and then we can really go to town and scratch up quite a few of them. But I needed to buy Halloween candy. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!